Kimberly Smith. I live in Graceville. Ms. Smith, where are you employed? I'm employed at North Florida Rehab and Nursing Center. Right. Now, Kim Smith, you recently married, I understand. Yes, sir. Uh, before that, you were Kim Yates. Yes, sir. All right. What do you actually do there at the nursing home, ma'am? I'm a nurse. I'm an LPN. Can you give us an idea of how many patients you have there, roughly? Um, in the whole facility, 150 plus. All right. Do you know an individual by the name of Amanda Lewis? Yes, sir. How do you know her? She was a CNA on the wing that I worked on. Certified nursing assistant? Yes, sir. Did you work with her last year, ma'am? Yes, sir. I want to draw your attention back to May of last year, toward the end of the school term, whether April or May of last year. Um, well, before we get that to that, was it a common practice with uh, some of the nurses or CNAs there at uh, the nursing center to bring their children to work with them in the mornings? Yes, sir. Okay, and why is that, ma'am? Um, we brought them up there and we put them on the bus. We brought them to the bus stop in the morning. All right. And then by the time school was out, the shift was almost over and yes, sir. get the children and be ready to go home or yes, they could sir. stay till the end of the shift. Yes, sir. You, I gather you might have done that on occasions yourself. Yes, sir. Mine every morning and every afternoon. All right. And Miss um, Lewis, did she also do that, ma'am? Yes, sir. She brought the children up there to get on the bus in the mornings All right. and they rode back in the afternoon. Toward the end of the school year last year, did there come, uh, was there one occasion, one morning that she brought the children in that stands out in your mind? Yes, sir. She came in um, very, very angry that morning, um, walked around the nurse's station, come through the door, very frustrated, threw her hands up, and she was like, I'm going to kill her. I can't take it anymore. And one of the other nurses who was kind of sitting behind me, she put her hand up and she said, hang on, Amanda. She said, you need to come with me. We what? need to go back here and talk. Where were the children? Um, Adriana was right behind her and she was crying. Okay. Um, what did you do to Adriana that morning? Well, the other nurse took Amanda back to the back and I took Adriana and I put her on my lap. She was crying and I asked her, I said, what's wrong? She said, mommy's well, look, well, can't really get in to okay. that, okay? That's, uh, we've got sorry. some evidentiary rules here, okay? Mm -hmm. That I had her. Did you console Adriana? Yes, sir. All right. When Amanda came in and said that that morning, what was her demeanor, ma'am? She was just like at the end of her rope that morning. Okay. Like she just couldn't take it anymore. Okay. And she said that in front of her children? Yes, sir. Okay. And you say this other lady took it upon herself to intervene and, and try to defuse the situation? She automatically, she put her hand up and her statement was, hang on a minute, Amanda, you need to come with me. Okay. Now, had you on that occasion or other occasions talk with Amanda about children? I mean, you had children, she had children? Yes, sir, several conversations. Did she ever express with you any just, did you ever talk about bonding on any of those occasions? Yes, sir. Tell us about those discussions, ma'am. Um, she had talked to us about the fact that she didn't have a chance to bond with Adriana. Um, I guess like the first six months of Adriana's life, she was in the military. She said she never was able to develop that bond and that she just didn't love her like she should and she didn't know how to. Uh, we tried to encourage her, give her ideas or whatever. Now, there was another child there, AJ. Um, did you ever talk about AJ? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. No further questions. Mr. Smith. Um, Mr. Smith, thank you, ma'am, for coming, and you're free to leave the board house at this time. Thank you. Ms. Dawson. Please tell us your name. My name is Takesha Dawsey. Where do you live and where do you work? I live in Mariana, Florida, and I currently work at the North Florida Rehab Nursing Center and also the Graceville Correctional Facility. Okay. 
last year, did you work at uh, Graceful Nursing Center, sir? I did. Ma'am? Okay. What was your position there, Ms. I Wilson? was the unit coordinator, the LPN unit coordinator. Did you come to know uh, a woman by the name of Amanda Lewis? I did. Is she in the courtroom today, ma'am? She is. Would you please point her out for us? She's right there. Okay. I understand it was a common practice uh, with some of the nurses uh, up there at the nursing center to bring their children in the morning with them to work and then help them get on the school bus and then in the afternoon pick them up. It was. Is there one, did, did Miss Lewis do that? She did. Is there one morning in particular that stands out in your mind uh, when the defendant brought her children to school? It was, it was one particular morning. She came in. Would you tell us about that? She came in and she was very upset, very irate. And we said, what's wrong, Amanda? She said, I'm just gonna kill him, I'm kill her. And I was like, don't say that. And I asked her to come go with me. And Adriana got up in Kim's lap and sat, and I took it. Amanda into the pantry and talked to her. Okay. What did you counsel her about? Well, first of all, why did you do that? Because she was upset, and that was the beginning of the day. Not only was she dealing with her children, but she was going to be dealing with the residents there. You felt, and, and you were her, one of her supervisors? And I was the supervisor. I was in charge of the unit and sh to ensure that the unit ran smoothly. That was my job. So did you counsel with her? Yes, I took her into the pantry and I told her, I said, Amanda, a lot of times we say things that we don't mean and that we don't mean to say, it, especially to our children. And so once we talked and we got into the conversation, I said, can we pray? And we began to pray. And once we prayed about it, she calmed down. Okay. Now, either on that occasion or other occasions, had you talked with her about children? You have children yourself. Right? I have children, yes, sir. Okay. And were the, was there any talk about this maternal bonding, ma'am? It was. It was one particular day we sat in the courtyard. It's a courtyard there at the facility where you go outside and you smoke. And we talked, and she said, I, I don't know why I don't love her. And I was like, why don't you love her? She said, I don't understand what's going on. She said, it's maybe because at the time I left to go into the military and my mom took care of Adriana and we just didn't get a chance to bond with each other. What about with, with AJ? Did she ever say that she didn't bond with AJ? She never said that. It was only Adriana. Now, you saw her on other occasions with the children up there at the nursing center, right? Yes, I did. Okay. And, um, but that is the one that sticks out in your mind. It was. It was. It was other times, you know, but that was the one particular time. And she was very upset that morning. Thank you, ma'am. No further questions. Mr. Sleeve. I don't have any questions. Uh, Ms. Dalton, thank you for coming, ma'am. You are free to leave the courthouse at this time. You heard that in court. What did you think? It was made to be so much more than what it was. But you didn't mean that? No, never. Just an expression? Just an expression. I mean, that's, that's a comment that everybody uses. But never in my mind, ever, would I ever do that to either one of my children. Certainly, she would not have won an award for Mother of the Year. You know, if Amanda had been a doctor's wife in a nice neighborhood and reported her child drowned in the pool, and they came in and found a spotless house and well-mannered children, and that she would never even come under suspicion.